We the Hebrew Israelites. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to our elders of GMS who rule well. Rock and thumb to all you Akim out there that's pushing this truth and sincerity. And the strength of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We out here for the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel. Judah, who are the so-called Negroes. Levi, the so-called Haitians. Benjamin, who are the so-called West Indian Jamaicans. Gad, the so-called North American Indians. Reuben are the so-called Seminole Indians. Issachar, the so-called Mexican Indians. We have Zebulon, which is Guatemala to Panama. We got Simeon, which are the so-called Dominicans. We have Ephraim, who are the so-called Puerto Ricans. We have Manasseh, who are the so-called Cubans. We have Asher to Colombia to Uruguay, and Naphtali, Argentina to Chile. These are the 12 tribes of Israel, who Yahweh Shai is coming to redeem one third the elect. Two thirds are gonna be set up for the destruction. And that destruction is coming, coming quick. It is not pursuing the Romans 13 and 11. Our salvation is, is nearer than when we first believed, right? Okay. So to the brothers out there, man, just stay anchored down in the scriptures, man, because everything is coming to pass. And it, you know, we've been, look, we've been looking at the current events for the past week. Uh, I was looking at the uh, the NBC, uh, the news, the one that shows the uh, financial market. And hey, hey, you know, it was right right with the, with this so-called supposed to be shut down that was on the 17th. It was actually like the day before. These, these, like, like we all, like we've been saying through the spirit, when they put out something, it's like a smoke screen because the underlying thing, they, they knocking on the money of the people who have millions. The poor man, you, you just poor, you out of it, you been out of it. You been out of it since you came to America. Because I was looking at uh, Wells Fargo, they just laid off 928 workers. That's a, that's a lot of workers to be laid off, man. Yeah, give me, give nope. me, uh, uh, give so, me revelations. Go, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So, the, what they're doing, they hitting this rich man. So this rich man, as the scriptures say, your, your riches are really coming to naught, man. The Most High is bringing, bringing the society down, man. He's bringing the power down. The power of this particular heaven is Esau right now. This first heaven is Esau. And the Lord is bringing your power structure down, man. Right? You uh, know, I'm going to grab James. Yeah. This is a book of James. The book of James. Hey, right, hold on, hold on, what you got? Okay. Yeah, because the way the brother was saying, that's part of the prophecy. Okay? That's part of the prophecy. You know, the, the uh, uh, the elites are going after the so-called millionaires right now. They squeezing them. But Israel would, uh, uh, is going to be fed for a time, even though we we poor as a nation. And that's part of the prophecy. You see? Uh, read that. Revelation 12 and uh, 6. Revelation 12 and 6. And the woman fleeing to the wilderness. Oh, read up a little bit. Start at uh, 5. Okay. Uh, Revelation 12 and 5. And she brought forth a man child. That's talking about the nation of Israel, okay? The man child is Yahweh Shai, okay? Go ahead. Who was to who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron? Revelation two and twenty six. Go ahead. And her child was taught unto unto God and to her, his throne. Mm -hmm. And the woman fled into the wilderness. Oh, the wilderness! The wilderness is Africa. Okay, during 70 AD, when the uh, Romans put an end to the Jewish state, it started, I mean, uh, to Israel, to the north, to the uh, southern kingdom. Okay, it started in, uh, it started in like, uh, what is it, like 68 AD, and it started with uh, uh, Nero, uh, Israel didn't want to pay no more taxes. Okay, so it started with that like in 68 uh, AD, but in 70 AD, it was laid flat by Titus and Vespasian. Okay, and when it was laid flat by Titus and Vespasian, uh, 
Israel ran into the wilderness. With the wilderness is Africa. Okay? Read. Okay. Uh, Revelation 12 and 6. And the woman fleed into the wilderness where she had a place prepared for God, of God. The place prepared, the place prepared is America. Okay? AKA the uh the extension of the Roman Empire. Okay? That they shall feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. So that was gonna be from the a period of time that we was gonna be uh, uh fed, we was gonna be nurtured, but not we weren't gonna be rich as a nation of people, but Esau was gonna feed uh 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 Israel. Which we would, which we would service to Esau. He's not gonna, he's not gonna put his slaves to death so he can uh, 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 stop the the work in progress. You see, at that time, okay. So read that again. Uh, Revelations twelve and. Uh Six and the woman fleed into the wilderness. You got to remember, the woman is talking about the nation of Israel, all right? Where she had the a wilderness is talking about Africa. Where she, where she had a place prepared of God. Now the, the place, which is uh, which is America, the Roman Empire, okay? That they, that they shall feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. So that's straight. Fools, they come off the boat. You see, up until now. What was that, 1620? Yeah, when it came off the boat? Yeah. 1970, 350 years yeah. to the time we, we, we woke up. Yeah, until we woke up to the truth. truth. Yeah. With, uh, our our business. Business. You know? But continually, that, that's going into the uh, us being fed until now. Yeah. 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 You see? But just like the brother was mentioning, he was he was uh, uh, watching the news and how the elites how the elites is squeezing the uh, uh, the rich the so-called rich, okay? And Israel Israel was just gonna be fed, man. We 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 didn't come over here to be uh, uh, wealthy as a nation of people. We came over here to suffer punishment because we broke the statute laws and commandments according to the scripture, according to the heavenly Father, according to Deuteronomy 28. Mm -hmm and the rest of the Torah, okay? Which is the five books of Moses, all right? Which James. was given to him by the Most High, okay? Go ahead. James 5 and 1. Go. Go to now, ye rich man, weep and howl for your misery that shall come upon you. For riches are corrupted and your garments of a moth eagle. Your gold and your silver is is candid, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Right. We have uh, harping. So okay. like, read that again. Up. Okay, uh, James five and one. Go right. so now, ye rich man. Who is the rich man? That's talking about the banker elites. That's talking about the Rothschild. You see? The DuPonts, the Gettys, the Warburg, the Oppenheimer. That's talking about the, the, the rich banking elites. But mainly at the top of them is the Rothschilds. Okay? Because the Rothschilds are consider themselves the prophets of money. They basically consider themselves as uh, uh, predictors of money. You see? And we're going to read about it here in a second. Now keep going. Go, uh, James 5 and 1. Go to now, ye rich man, weep and howl for your misery that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garment are moth eaters, and your gold and your silver is cam cambridge. cambridge. Now, meaning, meaning this all corrupt. Everything is corroded and corrupt. According uh, 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 to the, the, the bankers, the bankers uh, uh, money, because they got it all by corruption and fraud. You see, this whole banking system and the debt ceiling is a, is a, is a fraud and it's all corrupt. 
the real money is gold and silver. And what they and what they did was hoarded all the gold and the and plus the natural resources, the diamonds and things of that nature. Now they trying to go into Syria, take down Syria, and uh, and uh, persuade Russia to uh, to basically let them go ahead with the plan. But Russia them not going not going to buy that, so to speak. They not going to go with the plan of the elites, because the Most High is going to control them. We're showing Ezekiel 38, okay? They're going to control them Russians, okay? And they not, and the Medes not going to regard silver nor gold. In, 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 in other words, they're not going to be in need of what they're talking about, the resources that they're talking about. Because you got to remember, them Russians are Edomites too. And see, them Russians, them Russians, uh, which is Gog and Magog, them Russians, uh, they, they Gog and Magog because they, they, they inhabited that land. The Japhetic, the Japhetic people were pushed out of that land. The Japhetic people are the Hawaiian Samoa, the Tonganese, the Aborigines of Australia. Okay? And when the Russians got in that land, uh, when Alexander them pushed them out, when Alexander them came into power, the Russians got in that land. So therefore, since they in that land, they are, uh, they, that name have been pushed on them for being Gog and Magog, according to the, according to the prophet. Now, for somebody who's unlearned, they would think that's talking about Japhetic people, but they unlearned. They don't understand the prophecies and the Most High didn't open their eyes to understand the breakdown of Ezekiel 38. You see? But, them Russians is not going to agree with what them elites is saying, because the Most High gonna control them. And, and the Russians, you got to remember, Esau, Esau, the uh, natural resources was given to Esau. You see, he was gonna he was gonna take the natural resources by the by the sword. So what what the elites is trying to cut them other Edomites out of the natural resources the diamonds and the wealth and the gold and things of that nature. They trying to cut them out and saying they gonna give them a deal on, on, on whatsoever gonna come out. And the Russians gonna be like, uh-uh. Nah, we want, our, we want our own, we want it this way. And they gonna, and they gonna try to uh, uh, overthrow Syria and Iran and the Russians ain't gonna allow it. So America, in a nutshell, gonna be destroyed because of them, uh, they going after the natural resources. That's what's gonna get them killed them natural resources, trying to snatch all the natural resources. That's what's gonna get them, that's what's gonna get them destroyed. Okay? James 5. And, uh, and Salakia also, is part to the prophecy that we're gonna be raised back up as a, as a nation of people, meaning the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. All right? Uh, James 3, James 5, verse 3. Mm -hmm. Your gold and your silver is king. And the silk and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. Just like in the ancient time, you had priests, you had priests building uh, uh, silver and gold idols. That's the same way they probably got now. The Rothschild probably got. They something to have a big uh, gold idol of mole. You see, and then they value, they value those idols too, and they value the money. They probably got baffled. Yeah, big, yeah, Baphomet, yeah, Demon, Dragon. which is an idol, Yeah, you know, which is, that Baphomet, if you people don't know. They got, they got the, they got the dragon up there. Yeah. You see, that Baphomet, if you people don't know, that demon, you see. And when you, and when you turn it up, and when you turn that, like, see that, see that, that sign right there, that Baphomet sign? Right there, when you turn it upside down, it's mole, it's an owl. Put the, see there? It's an owl. You see there? So, so, so them elites probably got, probably got gold idols that they worship and then they worship their money because they think money is, uh, is God, is power. You see, and we finna read about it. Go ahead and read that. Uh, now we right, brought this. Now we brought this out once before, but the points I want to bring out is uh, what the brother finna read. 
Okay, this is a, 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 a news article says financial wizards and wealthy coats, the Rothschild bloodline. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what it looked like right now. Hold on. That's what it looked like. So you people can see. I know it's kind of dark out here. Bring it up, son. Bring it up. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There it is. That's the that's a that's a book, but I just copied it. You know, it's like uh, let me see, it's like 64 pages, 64 pages in that book, and and it's like uh, let me see, and what he finna read is on the second page, is the the title is uh what is it? It's called the Rothschild as Prophets. All right. It says. One item stands out as a person li listens to the international bank bankers and read their books. They believe money is what makes the world go round. If you have money, you can do anything. Money is God, and it is worshiped and served. Even after these families accumulate more than more than they can be spent, more than they can be spent. They devotees continue selling their souls for their false power, but false but powerful God. The great poet, philosopher Heinrich Heine, a banker's son, said money is the God of our time and Rothschild is his prophet. Following the cue of the Rothschilds, Heinrich Heine, a Jew, signed his name by drawing a seal of Solomon. So they fake, so they fake Jews, you know? So that's them fake Jews over there. And the Rothschilds, and the Rothschilds admitted, which we got the documents, that they know they go back to the line of Esau, you see? But that's all the bamboo of you people because uh, uh, you not learned in the scriptures, nor you not learned in, uh, uh, in history, you see? Which is, which is the scriptures, okay? So they're just to bamboozle you people to make you think that the Rothschilds are, are, are really Jews, but they not. They rats. They Amalekites. Okay. Am they, they descend from Esau. Okay. Amshel Rothschild is reported to have said, "Give me control of the economics of a country, and I care not who makes her laws." Today, his descendants meet twice daily in London to to dictate to the world what the world price of gold will be. They also dictate what the Federal Reserve System will do with America's finances. So that's the point. Now, they just raised the so-called debt ceiling, right? Well, this is what I want from you. This is what I want from you. All in. Now, hold on just for one second. They just, oh man, I got a mess over there. Uh, but uh, they just raised the death ceiling, right? Big for a minute, uh, they just raised Yeah, the they, just, they just raised it, raised it, the, the, the debt ceiling, uh, which when you look at it, I think they gave them uh, to what, January or February? It's something like four to six months. So in that particular time, if, if how about Shem Yao Shai still got us here, they're gonna be falling into the same situation again. All right. So and, and then I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all on in on something. Keep your eyes open for it. You know they actually they gave a deadline. Now if you ain't got no money, I guarantee you, you watch and see what the Edomites report on the news that this particular. Demon holiday or Halloween they got coming up and Thanksgiving. You watch how they say that that, that more sales is gonna be like the highest sale ever. Okay. That's to keep you people thinking since they brought the government back, everything is okay. Mm -hmm. But that's gonna be a false report and they're gonna give it. You watch to see when they Halloween come, they're gonna say that it grows more than any other ever. I'm looking for them to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you look and this the funny part, and this the funny part. See the elites, since they since they ran that test run, because when the when the when the when it when it, when America actually collapsed, when it finally bottomed out, it's not gonna be no date on it. It's just gonna happen. 
You see, you gonna wake up and it's gonna happen. It ain't gonna be no, oh, it's gonna happen this day, it's gonna happen that day. No, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna bot you gonna wake up and it's gonna be bottomed out. You see? And that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna bottom out. You know, it ain't gonna give you no date, man. Huh. So these people looking for a date, and then just like the just like that uh, article said, uh, the Rothschild control the the, the 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 Federal Reserve, which Federal Reserve have nothing to do with uh, the so-called American government. Had nothing to do with that. You see, it's controlled by the bankers. And then this for you, just give me uh 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 First Timothy uh six and uh, ten. But but it's no such thing as a as a as a as a debt ceiling. America is a credit-based system. You see, it's a credit-based system. You either got credit or you don't. And that's the way uh, credit works. In order to pay the debt off, you since you don't got no uh, uh, money, which is gold and silver, to back what your what your dollar uh, supposed to be backed by, because like the scripture said, it's all corrupt and canker. You see? It's supposed to be backed by, by silver and gold, but when you when you are uh, off of credit, uh, you got to, just like you got a credit card and it's maxed out. You got to get another credit card and put, and put uh, with a high limit on it and pay for the credit card that you got maxed out. So that's what you continually, continually, continually having to do because you don't got no money. You got to, you got to borrow a dollar and you got to borrow a dollar, then you got to borrow two dollars to pay the interest on it. Mm -hmm. So that's what America is doing, it's pushing the, the so-called uh, can down the road. But it's no such thing as a debt ceiling. You see? It's no such thing as that because your credit card is continually uh, 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 being maxed out. You see? And when you and when you ask for more money to pay for that last bill, you ain't doing nothing but devaluing the dollar. So that's what's happening in America. The dollar is being devalued. And that's why you see things cost so much in the store. You see? Because the dollar don't have its purchasing power. So it's just a matter of time before it all bought them out. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, you even got some places now, they won't even take that American Express card. They say it take them too long, take American Express too long to process it. So they ain't getting their money. The people who in owning these stores and restaurants, they don't get their money on time. American Express basically put their money on hold. You see? You and see? So they ain't they ain't even they just said fuck it, we ain't gonna take it no more. Yeah, and when and when they stop feeding Jake, man, that's when it's gonna happen, man. That's when a lot of chaos gonna kick off, man. When when Jake ain't when the job should get shut off, when the job gets shut off, and that money gets shut off, and that food gets shut off. You see? That's two things to uh, uh, make Jake basically go wild. Take his money and his food. And he's going to go wild. He's going to lose it. And that's when these people are going to lose it, man. When that money is gone, when they take that food, man, it's over, man. It's over. And they just gave you a little test run with that EBT. Man, that's a lot of people on them food stamps, man. That's a lot of people on them food stamps. 48, 48 million. It's on food stamps. The water, the water. Uh, it's a lot, 48 million on them food stamps, man. So that's a lot of people uh, to raise up and call uh, uh, a lot of chaos throughout these so-called 50 states. You know? Uh, hey, and then that's part of that famine, too. Yeah. That part of that famine too. Like the nigga woman was on the I got six kids. So what? You gonna end up eating them. Because you trust in the government instead of y'all boxing out shot and materialistic stuff. You see? And you trust in that that uh, uh that, that, that that credit based system. Which you think is money. You see? And this goes this goes hand in hand for what the brother finna read, because our people shouldn't be trusting in that. They supposed to be trusting in y'all watching our shot. Go ahead. First Timothy 6 and 10. Okay. For the love of money is the root of all evil. So if you love that and you depending on that, it's the root of all evil. Because guess what? The root is the basis of something. When it springs up, 
that means it's growing. So that greed and that love of that money that you got, that lust and that greed is growing inside you. Uh, you see, go ahead. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some convert after, mm -hmm. they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many arrows. Yeah. So you see, that's what's going to get you destroyed because you trusting in this credit bait system. You see? And not trusting in your Yahweh Hashem Shah. And when you accept that gift, that 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 uh messes up your judgment. You can't judge from uh, uh wickedness and righteousness. You can't do it. And, and for you people who depend on that, them, them EBT cards like these nigga women do, they can't understand uh, the, the, what Esau is about to bring on. They can't understand the righteousness of the scriptures that the Most High about to bring down this place. And you got men the same way, that trust in that money, wake up, wake up, and think, I gotta get money there, I gotta hit a lick. You see? Listening to that rap music, got you blinded as, as, as I don't know what, like a deer in the headlights, but that's all they talk about. It's, it's adultery, selling drugs, getting high, and getting money, and killing Jake. So that's the mind state that these, that, that these men got. And that's what they gonna wake up to do. Go get that money. You see? That's why they that's why they don't understand the scripture. Cause they blind, cause they blind from that lust and that love of it. That greed. And therefore they err from the faith, man. You see? Yeah. That's why they can't understand uh weakness between uh righteousness. Void of judgment. Go ahead. This is uh Deuteronomy 16 and 19. Got it. Thou shalt not rest. Rest the judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift. For a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise that's and that, pervert the words of the righteous. That's that money, man. That's that money, man. So, just like, just like, uh, uh, they will look past, our people will look past the wickedness that, uh, Esau. Uh, the the so-called white man, they will look past that to get that gift from him, which is their money. And ultimately, they're going to take that chip, that RFID chip. You see? Go ahead. It says, 1 Timothy 6 and 10, For the love of money is the root of all evil, which, while some converted after, they have erred from the faith mm -hmm. and pierced themselves through with many arrows. Mm -hmm. But, but thou, O man of God, Flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Whereunto thou art also, also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. All right, so don't have that demonic, wicked spirit on you like them elites got, like the Rothschilds got, thinking money is what rule the world. It's the most high that give you riches. Right. You see, it's the most high that controls everything. So you're supposed to seek him. You see, it's the most high that kill us and make them live and make them rich and poor. You see? Like like analogy, another analogy, like, like a tree has a root. And then a root grows a uh, 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 actual uh, the root grows the trunk of the tree, which what it branches out to many branches, and then you have many leaves on the end of those branches. Now the Rothschilds, since they say they are the they think they are the base they are the basis of the money that's flowing in the base of the world, right? And then they love it, they lust of it. And by that they got the whole world lusting. It's branched out to what, like you said, everybody's trying to go get money. You know, like you can't tell a pro athlete, no pro athletes, it ain't about money. You know, because if it was about money, they they just stuck with the first contract Esau gave. Them. But what they do after three, four years, they want twenty, thirty million dollars a year. And that's the same way with these people out here uh, in, in in the regular uh, white collar world. Everybody trying to move up to make more money. They don't love the, the fucking jobs they doing. They just want the money, man. And, and, they, and the more money they get, the more they love. All right. This, uh, 
this first Samuel chapter 2 verse 6 the Lord killeth and maketh alive he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up verse 7 the Lord maketh poor and maketh rich he bringeth low and he lifteth up okay. so the most high control the riches everything the most high controls everything he controls if you're gonna get a death sentence he go he controls if you're gonna be raised up meaning meaning uh 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 uh, uh, in wealth or in, in birth. Mm -hmm. You see, brought forth in birth. Okay, the most I do that. You know? uh, get a proverb 22 and 4. But humility and the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, are riches. What? But humility and the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, are riches and honor and life. That's it, man. That's plain. I don't, you don't need no breakdown to that. If you can't get that, man, I don't know what to tell you. Proverbs 23, 4 and 5. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. Don't be chasing that money, man. Don't be chasing it like that, man. Yeah, because it's going to fly away. Because it's going to fly away. <laughs> it does every time. You see? And that's going into uh, uh, Hagar when it says you like putting uh, uh, money in the bag with holes. holes in it. Yeah. You see, that's Hagar chapter one. Mm -hmm. You know, all right, that's part of them curses, man. So what we supposed to be doing is seeking after the most high. Y'all bought him out with shot ten times more. You see, which means it's searching the scriptures and cling to him. Go ahead. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. Because this place gonna fall, man. That money, that fiat money that you got, that fake money that you got, man, it's gonna, it's gonna, the scripture said it's all corrupt, man. You see? That money, you gonna lose it, man. You gonna lose it. Go ahead. It's third, verse five. Wilt thy set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. <laughs> They fly away as an eagle towards heaven. Yeah, and the Most High got it set up like that because when Esau falls as a nation of people, and the Rothschilds, which the elites, go going, they're gonna be the first slave. The, uh, the, the, the riches that they got gonna be given to us, and we're gonna be raised up and never fall again. You see. Proverbs 11, verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Okay. And that's straightforward. So all you people out there who, who uh, you, you praise all these people with all this money, like, you know, you, you talk about Oprah, most black women think she's the most powerful black woman in the, in the world. She's she the, she the top black chick because she got more money. She got all the network. Yeah, shit. but they don't understand. It's gonna come to not. It's gonna come to not. That demon she didn't sold out to. Hey, like you said, the Most High controller. He didn't made her bow down to a demon. Yeah. You know. It exposed her years ago when she said she didn't really believe in the Lord. Yeah. So you got all them wicked, them wicked souls here. You know. Matter of fact, uh, let me get a precept. Give me uh, Isaiah 45. 17. Okay. Let me get one quick one. Show you about them, them damn souls. Uh, it says, it says, uh, drought, this is, this is Job 24 and 19. Drought and heat consume the snow waters. Such doth the grave those which have sinned. Where you at? This is Job 24 and 19. All right, that's gonna be a terrible, that's gonna be a terrible death for you people. Go ahead and read that again. It says drought and heat consume, consume the snow waters. Mm -hmm. So does the grave those who have sinned. Yeah, so if you're chasing that money and you're going against what Yahweh Shemel Shai told you to seek him and, 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 and not labor for riches, that's what's going to be the ultimate death for you. It's going to be a, it's going to be a, a, a devastating death, a harsh death. 
You see, because you're supposed to chase after him. Rich is not going to save you uh, 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 in order to get delivered out of the destruction that's coming to America. You see, because you read up, it's going into the adulteries. Mm -hmm. yep. You see? Right. And it says, the womb shall forget him, and the worm shall feed sweetly on him. Yep. He shall not no more, he shall be no more remembered, and wickedness shall be broken as a tree. Yeah, so all the way up to the elites, all the way up to the elites, they going after that, they going after that money, they got two thirds going after that money, just like them. They're not going to be remembered. That's not going to be remembered no more to go to chase money. The nation of Israel going to be chasing y'all watching our shop forever. You see? And, and worshiping the right way and conducting themselves the right way. You see? Read that, Isaiah 45 and 17. Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord Yahweh, which with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end so age without end so we're gonna continually 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 rule man you see okay uh, get one over here matthew it's matthew six yeah matthew matthew the sixth chapter verse 30 wherefore if most high so clothe the grass of the field which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Mm -hmm. Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all things do the Gentiles seek. Yeah, them heathen. They, 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 that's why they go after their money so they can get materialistic stuff. You see? So they can go after materialistic stuff. You see, that's why they want them riches, man. It's all about control and, and, and going after materialistic stuff. Them, them elites, but the, but the, but the average person, that's why they want, uh, uh, money to, to, uh, to go after materialistic stuff. You see? But here it is, Yahweh Shah telling you, the elect not supposed to be like that. They not gonna be like that. Because they 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 know the voice of Yahweh Shimon Shah and they follow him whatsoever he goes. So whatever the teachings are of Yahweh Shimon Shah, that's what they gonna follow. Go ahead. It says, For after these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of all things. That's a 1484 uh Gentile too. Out of the accordance. It says, but ye, but seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. Yeah, which is the kingdom of heaven, man. The kingdom of heaven, man. You see? So, you shouldn't go after the things on, on this side of the world. You should be going after Yahweh Bashan al according to the scriptures, man. You see, because... This, this world, this, this way of life is going to disappear, man. It's going to fade by thermonuclear destruction, man. You're going to lose it. Take, therefore, no thought for the morrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Good. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Mm -hmm. This is James. Give me uh, Sarah. Yeah, this, uh, Sarah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, James 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 because of unrighteousness dealing, them, them elites are proud. So-called white man is a proud devil. You see? They trust in their riches. And Jake, don't fall after that so-called white man, because that's what's going to get you killed if you fall after him. You're going to fall after the Mosai and his son, according to the scriptures. Go ahead. 
because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Which is the nation of Israel. That's what's gonna happen. So this white man, the things that he done, and all of the iniquity, and all the robbing and pillaging and killing, all the things that he done to the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, he gonna lose it, man. He gonna lose it, and it's gonna be translated to us. That's it, man. James 4, 14. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor yep. that appeareth for a little time Gun. and then vanisheth away. Gun. For that, for that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or do that. So that's why we always say, Lord willing, and whatever we do, Lord willing, and whatever we do, man. That's why you hear brother say that, because that's what you're supposed to say, because you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, tomorrow, man. But Lord willing, the most I destroy this place, man. ASAP. Lord willing. ASAP, tomorrow. man. Tomorrow. You see? Mm-hmm. Where you at? Uh, I'm just looking at six. six, six. Uh, I was going to go to what, Jeremiah 50. Jeremiah 51? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Jeremiah 51 and 7, it says, Babylon have been a golden cup in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai's hand. Meaning, the things that that uh, Esau Empire, uh, this is the daughter of Babylon, it's known as the daughter of Babylon, it's known as uh, Egypt, it's known as Sodom and Gomorrah, it's known as uh, the Roman Empire, okay? That's what America is known as. And it's been a golden cup. Meaning it's been protected, been protected for all the wickedness and the things that it have done to the Negro Latinos and Native Americans and all the fraud that it have done to the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. And they haven't been punished for that. Okay, go ahead. Babylon have been, have been a golden cup in Yahweh Shai's Yahweh hand that made all the earth drunken. What? Of that financial uh, uh, financial system and putting Israel in slavery. You see, because all these nations got rich off of Israel being in slavery. The Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see? That's how they got rich. In that money system, that Federal Reserve, huh. which they created in 1912 on Jekyll Island. Need to look that up, do some research on that. The warbirds, you know? Go ahead. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Mm -hmm. The nations are mad. They pissed off right now. You see, they pissed off because they know that money ain't right. And they tired of that uh, 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 the fiat money being the world currency, the petrol currency. Them having to convert, them having to convert their, their money and giving up their natural resources to that dollar bill. Mm -hmm. So they mad at that and they're yeah, getting yeah. away from it. Now they're trading in oil, whether it be uh, resource minerals, whether it be diamonds. That's what they're going to. That's what these other countries are going to. These other nations are going to. They're getting away from the American dollar. Okay? Yeah. Go ahead. Then when you want to get away from it, America just cover your country. Kill your fucking people, take this shit. You see? And that's what's gonna get them destroyed, going after them resources. You see? Go ahead. It says, verse 8, Babylon is suddenly falling yep. and destroyed. How for her? It's take spiritually, spiritually, man. In the spiritual world, America already been destroyed. You see? And you slowly and you slowly see it happening systematically day by day you see when you look at the conditions and when you go on the, uh, uh, on the web which is the Urim and the Thurum and check out the, the disgrace and the, and, the, and, the, and the poverty and the corruption and the, and the uh, infrastructure of America you see aka Babylon 
Go ahead. Babylon is suddenly fallen mm -hmm. and destroyed. Mm -hmm. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. What's that bomb? Another stimulus package. <laughs> You see, we're going to raise the debt ceiling, but that's just a smoke screen. You see, because America not going to be here. You're not going to be able to put no, uh, uh, give her no herbs or no ointment to bring her back. Basically, basically help her to give her back life support. Top of power. What'd you say, Ozzy? Top of power. <laughs> 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 Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. Yeah. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. Yeah. If so, be she may be healed. Mm -hmm. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Yeah, they think they think America's straight. They think it's all back to normal. This shit is going to hell. And then some of them going to get woke up when they don't get their uh, they paper. I mean, when they get their money, when they talking about they going to get paid back. So yeah. everybody ain't going to get paid back. Nah, that back pay, everybody that back pay ain't going to get no, ain't, Everybody ain't going to get it. Man, it's so, it's, it's the reason why I'm laughing because the most I got you through is so blinded, man, that here we are. Reading the scriptures through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem and it's coming out so plainly, and it's and it's and it's simple. To, I mean, it is. Uh, uh, it's uh, uh, we thank the Most High for for us understanding it, but it's just so plain right there. It's telling you, but you people still can't see it. So uh, that's why it's funny, right? We shit, God. <laughs> said we would have healed Babylon, right. but she is not healed. Yeah. Forsake her. And let us go, everyone, into his own country. That's why they leave in America. The, 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 the elites, the elites, uh, uh, the, the billionaires have been left for America. They said this place is done, man. They trying to make uh, 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 places down in Chile, down in Chile, like uh, uh, like on that movie uh, Atlas Shrugged. Atlas Shrugged 1 and 2. Hey, if you brothers ain't seen Atlas Shrugged 1 and 2, you need to check it out. Because in that movie, it's showing exactly what's happening to America and what's coming to America. And in that movie, they say, who is John Galt? Uh, John Galt, uh, that's symbolic for Philip Rothschild. Okay? That's who John Galt is in uh, Atlas Shrugged. And when they, and when in that movie, they go to another place and uh, like a, uh, uh, to basically rebuild, that's what they're trying to do down in Chile right now. <laughs> you know, in, in South America and, and, uh, and uh, Switzerland and places like that, them elites, them elites gone, man, meaning the, the billionaires. Uh. They not in America. They left this place, man. You see? Infrastructure is falling, that's for sure. And, and then it's so funny, you got them goops, they say, that's uh, got the most uh, bonds in America, uh, got the most, uh, bought up all the debt of America, so to speak. And uh, so if they bought up all the debt from America, what is America giving them? Uh, land. You see? Everything for sale in this place, man. Everything for sale. And the enemy leave, no, it's going to get burnt. You see? Everything for sale, man. Even you people. That's why you're going to get chipped. You see? Cause you for sale. You you are a, a commodity. You are a resource. You see, and the elites want to control you. You see, but they gon they gonna try to they gonna try to push it, and a lot of you people are gonna take it. Two thirds gonna take it. A lot of them gonna get destroyed, and that's the way it's gonna be. You know, and they eventually want to try to chip the whole world outside of America. The most I ain't having that, man. Probably, man. Yeah, watch most. out, they're putting it in your TVs, on your telephones, and all that. Yeah, even if you brothers, even if you brothers put uh, like tape on your on your TVs, or your computers, or your phone, watch that phone start acting up and, and, and doing all type of weird stuff. Because they 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 didn't went on there and checked you out and see they can't see you no more. It's all blurry and stuff. And you and, and everything that you got tape on, they gonna start acting funny, man. Yeah. You see? Yeah, man, this is 
staying with the uh, some I saw on current news yesterday. It was in the uh, Philippines. Right. You had the oldest Catholic church in the Philippines crumbled and fell over. <laughs> so beautiful. The Most High is is killing this infrastructure. Anything got to do with an idol, you turn it down. I'm waiting on them to knock that, 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 that. Down in Venezuela. You know that, what I'm talking about, Brazil, that yeah, big yeah, statue, yeah, 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 that like, big Jesus statue. Yeah. Oh man, I'm waiting on them to knock that one over. Cause they knock that one over, they all gonna be going crazy. They don't know what to do. Yeah. You know? You know? I'm waiting on them, cause when he knock that one over, it's got a long way to fall. It's yeah. like a, it's like just on side of a mountain or something like that or something. Yeah. So I'm, man, you know. They got all these idols, man. Even, even the Rothschild worship the, uh, these people worship the, the, the penal glands, man. They even worship that. That's an, uh, another word for it, pine cone. You see? They even worship that, man. Because they say, uh, what is it? Uh, they say when you open up the penal glands, they say it's like a, uh, it's similar to the uh, to the features of an eye. It got uh, 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 rods and, uh, what is it, uh, cones in it, I want to say. Cones in it, rods and cones in it, in your, in your retina. Mm -hmm. when, you, uh, when you open up your penile gland. So they, 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 that's why they say it's the third eye. But they worship that. Yeah. You see? Because uh, when the elders went to that one place in, uh, I think they went to this, was it in uh, I didn't see one it. of the colleges they went to? I didn't see it. It was a, I think it was a college they went to. They had like a gate up there. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of symbols on that gate, right? That was in front of it. It was they in front taking, of they were it. taking pictures. Yeah, and one yeah. of them, one yeah. of them signs was a pine cone, oh, yeah. and that's what they it stood for the penal gland. And yeah. they got that up on the gate, but people looking at it, and they don't even know what it. What, they don't what even it, know what it what's is, going man. On. Yeah. They you don't know? even have no clue. They worship that, man. They worship that. They worship the penal glands, man. You know? This Isaiah 21 and 9. And behold, here cometh a chariot of men with a couple of horses. Mm -hmm. And he answered and said, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, and all the graven images of her gods he have broken unto the ground. Yeah. The Lord knocked over that oldest Catholic church. In the Philippines. Yeah, and he's going to visit the rest of these <laughs> items. <laughs> and then just like that, uh, brother sent me, uh, uh, well, I seen it, but I seen it uh, uh, you know, a little while ago, but I'm going to mention it because the brother sent it to me. Uh, that they, uh, uh, that uh, a NASA employee uh, seen the angels come out the chariots and, and they said, uh, the angel was about seven feet tall and uh, was uh, pitch black. And the lady kept asking him, is it, dark? it was, was they dark skinned? No, he said black. <laughs> but, hey, the most I ain't gonna kill you, boy, what? You people, boy, y'all don't know what y'all dealing with, man. Boy, y'all don't know what y'all dealing with. The most I gonna destroy you people, boy. The death angels coming. They coming. It's so, over. They coming. Uh, give this me is, uh, 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 is Hang on, chapter. Uh, was it Habakkuk chapter two? After you read that. Uh, this is uh, Ezekiel one and five. Uh, and it says, also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures, and this was the appearance they had, the likeness of a man, and every one had four faces and every one had four wings and their feet were straight feet and the soles of their feet were like the sole of calf's foot and they sparkled like the color of a varnished grass yeah they was in the chariot and they were and a calf's foot is like like round so they was in the they was in the chariot you see that's what ezekiel was was uh 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 that's what he seen Angels in the chariot. Come. And then when he says uh, varnish brass, brass comes from the word bronze. It's a brown, it says varnish. When you look that up, that, that goes back to Revelation 1 and 15, what? Which is uh, burnt in a furnace. So that lets you know, if you, if you, if you burn brass, it's gonna be dark in color. 
So the Edomite said, what, the angel was black? Yeah. You know? So, like he was saying, it's with that pure energy, man. Yeah, pure energy. You wanna uh, have a cook, have a cook two. Have a cook two oh, and oh, one. Oh, jump to Revelation chapter uh seventeen. No, nah, Revelation chapter uh uh four verse seven. Revelations four and seven. Huh. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf. And the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. Keep going. And the fourth beast had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within. Mm -hmm. And they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when those beasts gave glory and honor and thanks to him, that's set on the throne who liveth forever and ever. So the point is, the reason why I wanted you to read that, because that's the same thing that Ezekiel seen, and I just wanted to let you know, that's the same thing that's in the spirit world that's worshiping Yahweh Hashem Shah, and that's a mighty angel. You see? Come. So that's why I wanted him to read that. Alright. It's Habakkuk 2, verse 1. It says, I will stand up on my watch, and set me up on the tower. What's the watch? We standing out looking. We checking things out. We paying attention to the prophecies. We watching for the sign. Go ahead. It says, and we'll watch to see what he will say unto me. Who is the he? Y'all by Shemel was shot. According to the scriptures. We watching the Urim and the Therm all day long. Okay, go ahead. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. So, meaning corrected, meaning uh, when the Most High show us his plan. All right, go ahead. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. So write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Excuse the vision is the, uh, the prophecies and the table is the word and making it plain so brothers can break it down, uh, 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 break the scriptures down. That he may run that readeth it. Go ahead. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, Gun. but at the end it shall speak. So that's what you see right now. That's what you see, the word coming out, and you see the word speaking right now. Go ahead. And not, and not lie. So that's why we're going into the destruction of America, because America going to fall. The heavenly father and his son, uh, uh, the Most High Son is coming back to destroy America and deliver the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans and elect out of them and put this so-called white man in slavery. Though it tarry... And the rest of these heathen nations. Though it tarry, wait for it. So that's what we're doing. Though it delay, and it seems like it's taking a long time and you feel like, man, is it going to come? It's coming. Wait for it. That's what we're doing. We're waiting for it patiently. Go ahead. Because it will surely come. It will surely come. The destruction of America and the most high plan to destroy this place. You see that? Go ahead. It will not tarry. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. That's a so-called white man. Because he trusts in money. He don't trust in Yahweh Ba Shem Ain't he the wicked? The devil that the Bible speaks of. He's an Edomite. But the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. You see? Go yeah, ahead. also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. That's Esau. He tell you all them philosophies contrary to the scriptures and make you believe in it because you don't have no faith. You see? Go ahead. Neither keep it at home who enlarges his desire is hell. That's where he go, killing and destroy everybody. That's why he over in the Middle East, taking the natural resources. And that's why he gonna destroy America. You see, and put you people in concentration camp. Cause you are the resource now. America don't got nothing else. You are the resource, the people. Go ahead. And is as death, and cannot be satisfied. He can't be satisfied. That's that lust, that greed, that power, uh, that power, uh, 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 him having that money and the power to control the people. You see, he can't be satisfied, man. 
kill, kill, kill all day long, still can't be satisfied. Rape, pillage, and destroy. Still can't be satisfied. Go ahead. And cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, mm -hmm. and heapeth up to him all people. Mm -hmm. Shall not all these take up a parable against him, okay. and a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increases that which is not his. Destruction. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. With debt. You see, that's the debt. You see, that's what America have uh, laid it with. Debt, when you look that up. It's debt, that clay. Go ahead. It says, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee mm -hmm. and await that shall vex thee mm -hmm. and thou shall be for booties unto them. Yeah, they shall spoil you, meaning they shall come against you and destroy you. You see, because that's what you do. When you when you uh, take spoil, you destroy it. You destroy that that uh, uh, whatever nation you go against, okay. and America gonna be destroyed. Well, go ahead. It says like it says, they should not rise up suddenly. That's the riots, man. Mm -hmm. It says <laughs> because because it says uh, have a cook two and eight because thou hast spoiled many nations. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Because of men's blood and for violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. God. Woe unto him that covered an evil covenant to his house, that he may set his nest on high, and he may be delivered from the power of evil. That's the elites. That's what they're doing, man. That's why they show you the movies. Uh Help me out. Uh, every, every. Uh, uh, Elysium. Uh, yeah, Elysium. Uh, 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 I, 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 what was it? Uh, shit, Revolution. Uh, I ain't seen Obliv that. Oblivion. 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 Yeah. yeah, so they showing you, they showing you, even though that's going into what the elders say, uh, Lazarus and the rich man, uh, Elysium.